Google Classroom and Google Forms. This is video 11 of a series of videos um, offered to you to help you incorporate Google Forms more effectively and efficiently in your classroom. My name is Amanda Volz. I'm a personal finance teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan, and I use Google Forms as often as I can as they make sense in my classroom, and I also use Google Classroom, and um, the two of them work really well together. So I'm going to show you how you can attach an assignment in Google Classroom using a Google Form and um, just some of the ways that you can um, shortcut some grading and some score inputting through um, Google Classroom and Google Forms. So I already in previous videos have showed you really all of the features of Google Forms and I am going to use this fine print bank statement um, as my example. So the fine print allows students to analyze a financial document and I'm going to I typically do this type of activity in a Google form and I am going to use this and show you how to incorporate it with Google Classroom. So I'm just going to make a quick little edit to this only so it shows up as a recent um, document and then I'm going to get into my Google Classroom um, to show you how actually pretty quick and easy it is to use Google Forms in your Google Classroom. So I teach the same course all day long. I have five hours of the same. So I'm gonna show you in my first hour how you can add this Google form as an assignment. So I'm gonna go into classwork here um, and I may already have something in here. So let me just delete this because I was I did use that in a previous video. And I have a checking unit here. So I wanna create an assignment for students to complete the fine print activity. So I will go to create an assignment and then one trick I have with Google Classroom is I number my assignments. It just helps me in grading because I am not entirely online. Um, I do some things on paper and online. My numbered assignments are always on Google Classroom. So I put my title in. I could add some instructions here if I want to. And then I'm purposefully going to make this um, the same amount of points as my Google Form assignment is. So I'm using this here, and you notice it's out of 11 points. So actually, let me just scan down and make sure that I have a point value for this last question down here. Yes, I do. In the answer key, I have one point. So I, it's worth 11 points. So I'm going to make that the same amount. I'm going to put no due date, and I'm going to put it under my checking unit. And then I'm just going to pull from my Google Drive. And it should be a recent document because I made that quick edit right at the very beginning. And I'm going to put my fine print activity right here. So one of the things that you can do in Google Classroom is you can make this uh, um, locked mode. So I'm not going to do that for this activity, but for assessments, that is an option in Google Classroom where if you are using Google Forms, it will lock the browser of that Google Form, preventing students from looking anything up or opening a new page, um, and you can only do that on Chromebooks. This is just kind of a standard assignment, so I encourage them to look up things if they are um, if they have questions or are confused. But one of the definite things with Google Forms that you'll want to do is turn on the grade importing, which I'm going to show you how that works in just a moment. But it will import the grade from that Google Form assignment automatically into Google Classroom, and then. Um, one thing that I'm going to do just for um, purely for demonstration purposes is I'm not assigning this to all of my students, but I'm just going to assign it to my husband who is in my district and is in my Google Classroom for my PD purposes. So not all of my students are getting this assignment, just my husband would, so I could show you what it looks like from a student perspective. So I'm going to click Assign. And this would automatically go under my checking little unit. And here's my assignment right there. So I'm going to switch screens on you, and I'm going to go into what the student sees. So again, my husband teaches in my district, which allows me to use his district account um, for these, these Google Classroom and Google kind of demonstration purposes. He is a um, band director in our school, but if I, he's also enrolled in my first hour, so I can use him. If I click on that and go to classwork, I can see that the fine print activity is right here. So I'm going to open that up as if I'm a student. And um, I'm going to quickly kind of fill this out so you can see how I can then import the grade. I'm going to click Next. Here's all my information that I would look at, read, and review as a student. And then just for sheer quick and fast purposes, I am just checking a couple things as fast as I can just so I can um, show you what it looks like. 
So as a student, they would go through and answer all these questions, click next, finalize with a um, short answer question, and then they would submit this assignment. And I turned it on where it will automatically mark it as done, and the other thing is they will later get their um, grade after. So they can open the assignment here on Google Classroom, and they can see exactly what the assignment was on Google Classroom. And it marked it as done immediately. See how it turned it in? So when you link the Google Form on Google Classroom, when they hit Submit, it's going to automatically mark that assignment as done, which is nice. So I can now close out of this as a student. And from the student perspective, they see that this is shaded gray. So it means that they've completed it. If I click on view your work right here, so that fine print bank statement, he has turned it in. So it automatically marked it as done. Okay, so now flipping back to the teacher spot, I'm back in like my teacher window right here. I can go in to this assignment. I see that he is done, the one is done, and then I can view that assignment. And one of the fancy and wonderful things here is this import grades. But there is one little catch to that. I had all multiple choice questions which automatically grade except for the last one. That last question was a short answer question. So I'm gonna click on this actual Google form um, in my teacher. I wanna edit it, so I'm gonna go down into that little button on the right hand side, and the thing I wanna grade is that short answer question. So I'm gonna click here in my responses, and I'm gonna go to that one question right there, which is the very last, why is it important to review your statement? And I see that, okay, there's no answer there. So I'm just going to give him a zero because that answer does not make sense. So um, these were from previous things that I had done before. But I'm just not going to give him any credit because of the answer. So I'll save that. And so I automatically graded that particular answer. And it, it tabulates the grade. And now what I can do as a teacher is I can now import grades. So I can click on that button. Are you sure you want to import the grades? Yes, import. And it will take the grades of those students, and we randomly guessed, so he only got two points, and it automatically converts it into Google Classroom. Now here's a huge thing to know with Google Classroom. For your student to be able to see this grade, you have to return the work to them. So I have to click on this, click on return, and then he will be notified and he'll be able to check any of his grades. So I can return this, and that's the only way that he'll actually be able to see his grade and he can go back into that assignment and review his answers and correct answers and all that. If you don't return it, they're just going to see the turned in on Google Classroom. So let me go back to the student view here and you notice that it doesn't say turned in anymore. Now it shows his grade, two out of 10. So in order for them to see the point value, you have to, um, you have to return it back to them. So he could go into this assignment, he can open it up, and um, he then can look and see the information that's there. So he can review all of it. And in a previous video, I talked about how you can restrict access to students um, in your Google Form or Google Assignments. So if you want them to view it, and then you wanna take those permissions away, that's in a previous assignment. So Google Forms works really well with Google Classroom, and especially having that Import Grades button, it can automatically import them. Um, it, some a short answer, you'll have to grade yourself, but multiple choice will self-grade.